Hi, my name is Andrew Yi. I'm an application engineer for KJK International. And today I'm going to show you how to change carbide contacts on the Seibu wire EDM. So this is what a carbide contact looks like. So there's two of them. One goes in the upper head and one goes into the lower head. So for those of you that aren't uh, familiar with wire EDM, basically what a carbide contact is and what it does is that it sits in the upper head, lower head, the wire passes through and they allow the voltage to, or current to pass through the, through the wire. And over time, a groove begin, or an indentation begins to appear on the carbide contact. And the control will let you know within about 60 to 80 hours that it's time to either change and or index your uh, carbide contact. <clears throat> so uh, if you start directly in the middle uh, with our indexing tool that I have with me, we can index uh, four spaces to the left and four spaces to the right. Once that's finished, you can take it out and you can flip it on the other side and use eight times on that side as well. So now that we're at our machine, we'll take out the, well, I'll show you how to change the carbide contact in the upper head. So first what we'll do is we'll take the cover off the upper head. So it's held on in place by these four bolts here. So now with the upper cover off, our carbide contact is located inside this block here. And it's held in there by this set screw. So I'll just take my Allen wrench. Loosen up the set screw. And that should allow me to take out the carbide contact. So now that you can see with, the used, with a used carbide contact, the groove that I was talking about earlier. So as you can see, I have two of them here. So what we'll do now is we'll index it again to the other side. So now we take our old carbide contact that I took out and put it back in. And then I'll take our indexer, which comes standard on all Cebu machines. And as you can see, there are layers of steps there that allow you to index the carbide contact. So I'll take it and I'll just indicate, index it to the next step. Take my Allen wrench. Tighten it back up. Take my cover, put it back, and set all my bolts back in. Now let's index the carbide contact on the bottom side. So it's held in by these two bolts here and here. Now we have the bolts off, this block actually slides out. As you can see, there's our carbide contact, our set screw, and it's an exact copy of the one that's up there. So I'll loosen the set screw, take my indexer, and I'll just push to the next index. Turn it back up. Slide it back in. Take our two bolts and replace them back. There you have it. That's how easy it is to change and or index carbide contacts in the Seipu wire EDM. Thanks for watching.